Hey guys, and welcome back over here to the Hetrick Outdoor YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on 10 items that you should get the camper in your life for Christmas. Now these are 10 items I either own and have used, or would like to have, or know somebody who does have and they recommend themselves. I do a lot of camping, and a lot of camping through the winter and just all year round. Something I love to do and something I'm very passionate about. So. I've tested a lot of gear. I've gone through a lot of gear. I've thrown a lot of gear away, and I don't want that to happen to y'all. So I'm gonna give you 10 items that I think the camper in your life would absolutely love, or if you just wanna get it for yourself, I highly recommend them. We're gonna start off the pack. Deluxe Camping Cookware Set. It's $34.95 and comes with absolutely everything you would need to prepare a meal at camp. It has a cutting board, knives, scissors, bottle opener, silverware, spatula, it's got a ladle, it's got one of them little fork things you stick your meat with so you can slice it. It's got a, uh, I don't know if you call it a deburring tool, the little thing you hold with your knife, which you see chefs do. Um, it's not a sharpener because those don't actually sharpen knives. I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, for $34.95, it's actually absolutely the best camp cooking set I have ever bought. I absolutely love it. And I'm thinking about getting another one for my travel set my, that goes in my dry bag. So when I travel and I go do catch and cooks and stuff like that, that I have it because it's just that good. Coming with tongs, a really nice knife. It's just a really, really great kit. And I highly, highly recommend it. Next on the list is the Arcturus Military Wool Blanket. I love this blanket. I have one and I kind of use it as, I don't actually use it as a blanket unless I'm sitting outside around the fire and I'm a little cool and I'm, you know, I'll use it then. I use it to lay on top of the mat on my cot to keep air from coming up through it. I use it to line an air mattress, I'll lay it over the air mattress, and I use it in my hammocks. I'll use my underquilt, then it'll be your hammock, then it'll be this wool blanket. It's a fantastic wool blanket, and at $39.99, so $40, you can't go wrong. I'm actually gonna order another one um, for my wife. I trust it that much, absolutely. Love it. Wool is fantastic at keeping you warm, and it'll keep you warm even when it's wet. Though, nobody tries to sleep when they're wet, I don't think. But if you had to, this wool blanket would be my choice. Next up, we have the Wheeler's Six-Piece Stainless Steel Spice Set. It comes in a bag. Little stainless steel containers. Comes with stickers so you can write on there what seasonings you have in there. It's $19.99. It's rugged, and I just love it. And it's a great thing to keep seasonings and stuff in. I love it to have it around camp. It's compact, it doesn't go anywhere, and I just can't say enough good things about it, especially for $20. After that, we have the Whitetail 5 pound, 36 by 78, zero degree sleeping bag. This is a heavy cotton canvas sleeping bag on the outside, flannel on the inside. This is a sleeping bag I use all winter and I have no complaints. It is comfortable, it is it is heavy, but I like the heaviness of it. So it's great for camping. I use it in my hammocks, I use it in my hot tent. I've, pretty much if I'm camping during the winter, this is a sleeping bag I have. And I've tested it on four degree night, sleeping in a hammock, and I stayed completely warm all night, slept great. So I, I swear by this sleeping bag and it's only $95.90 which is a steal for a sleeping bag of this quality and it performs the way that this one does. Next up is the GC Outdoor cook station, portable camp kitchen cook station. Now this one's a little bit more pricey than the other things on this list. It's $145, but it's a whole camp kitchen. And I don't know how, other than, you know, you're about to see the picture. Big, nice flat table has a sink in it, multiple layers so you can set stuff. It's just, it has a lantern hanger. You can put it outside your tent, inside your tent. 
and be able to have all this space to prep and cook food. I absolutely love it. I have a different version. Um, I don't think this version existed when I got mine. Will I upgrade to this one? If anything ever happens to mine, I would like to because mine doesn't have the sink and stuff. But as of right now, I'm not going to upgrade to this one. Just because there's nothing wrong with mine. I love this product though. I don't know anybody who has this exact one. Like I said, I have a different version made by the same company. The thing's taking a beating. I love it. And if I'm going camping, camping, or glamping, or whatever you want to call it, that thing's coming with me because I love to be able to stand up, prep my food, and be comfortable while I do it. The next item is also kind of a little more expensive. Now, this is so you don't have to carry a generator. These are solar generators. This is the Alwi 300 watt solar generator with the solar panels. Comes in at $499. Now, I know people who have Jackeries and Blue Yeti, Blue Eddie, Blue Eddies. And I know a few people who have this one. They rave about it just as much as the people who do the Jackeries. The reviews on this is fantastic. And I really, really am looking into getting one of these for myself. Because there's nothing like being able to charge your phones, cameras, whatever you need to be able to charge. This thing can do it. And it can run a few other things depending on what wattage you get. So I'm recommending a 300 watt for what I do, charging cameras and my phone and running lights. It's what I do with it. The thing, la the, they last a while doing them that way. Now, if you're trying to run a TV or Xbox or whatever you're trying to run, trying to keep something where the kids are occupied, bump up to a higher wattage ones, which are gonna cost you more money. But these things are fantastic to have around and I won't go camping without some kind of power source like this. Up next is a, a duels, a duel, a duels, a duels camping string lights. Now these are a rope light. They're 33 foot long, rechargeable. That man, I just they have. A flashlight on one end. The thing's, the thing's just cool. You, you can use it as rope lights and all that to light up your camp and stretch the lights around. And for the price of $20, they're fantastic. Um, the first time I ever saw them, I saw them when I was going camping somewhere else and somebody had them wrapped around their tent. And then I saw them wrapped around somebody's RV and I got to ask them about them. They're like, oh, I ordered these off Amazon. I love them. We've got three or four sets. You can get them in either RGB or you can get them in just the warm lighting. I like the warm lighting, personal preference. It's even got a little flashlight on the end. They're just, they're cool, they're rechargeable. And for 20 bucks, man, they light up the camp. They make it just this nice, pleasant lighting. It's easy on the eyes and just, it's, it's nice. I don't know how else to put it. Next thing on the list is the Vivor, Vivor, folding campfire grill. It's a grill on one side, you know, the mesh grill, and then it's a griddle on the other. The thing is fantastic. It folds up, goes in its own little carry bag, so you can cook over the fire. You know, you put a pot or something on one side, or you can use like grill, grill steaks on top of it, and you can make pancakes on the other side, or crisp bread, or vegetables, or just. It's a flat top on one side and a grill on the other. And you set it on the fire and it's, I love, I love mine. Um, there's just, if you're going to be over fire, open fire cooking, this thing is just fantastic to have because it eliminates a lot of, I need a grill and I need a flat top and I need a, you know, whatever. This is all in one, folds up. It's a very heavy duty made, like it's made very, very well. I highly recommend it. I absolutely, like I said, love mine. And for $37.99, you can't beat it. Next up is one a little more for the kids um, or something that you should bring along for your kids. These are the Jolly Green Rotating Marshmallow Roasting Sticks. It's a set of five. They come in their own little bag. They're awesome. Of course, you know, you're going to have kids. You need to roast marshmallows. You need to make s'mores. You know, it's camping. We need to enjoy this. 
They're $26.79. They come in a little pack that says roast them on it. You know, it's like this big. It's, it's so cool. I'll, of course, put a picture up. I, they're roasting sticks. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> they're they're just, they're great, okay? In mar roasting marshmallows is like the highlight of camping, okay? So, if you got kids or you're a big kid at heart, get you some of these. Now, last but certainly, certainly not least, is the waterproof and windproof outdoor blanket. Now, this thing is $49.99. And this one is navy and gray. I didn't see a different color option, so navy and gray is what it is. It's a uh, kind of like a fleece, 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 ooh, fleece-ish material on one side, and then like a uh, sleeping baggish kind of material on the other. Anyway, it's waterproof, and I think they make great rugs and tents. You know, to put under your air mattress or put next to your air mattress so you're not standing directly on the tent material when you stand up. I've laid on them outside next to a fire. You know, if you want to get some snuggles in with your girl next to the fire, it's fantastic. Put the kids down next to the fire so they're not just laying on the wet ground. They're great. And I highly, highly recommend having one with you when you go camping because, you know, weather, you can't predict it. And it's waterproof. It's also a blanket, so you could wrap up in it and stay warm and dry because it's waterproof. It's $49.99. I love mine. I need to buy, like, three or four more because... Like I said, I use one next to my cot when I get up, you know, as a blanket, as a mat sometimes. I use it to lay next to the fire or sit next to the fire with my wife, you know, and I don't have any kids, but our dogs lay on them, you know, so I need to get a couple more so I'm not constantly just moving the same one because they do get dirty after a while, but they are machine washable. So guys, that is going to do it for the 10 camping items that I suggest you get for your camping loved one. Your loved one that loves to camp. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching. Y'all remember to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. Y'all stay frosty. And I'll see you next time.